We're here with Andy Jassy, the CEO of Amazon Web Services. Andy, great to see you again. Great to see you, thanks for having me on. You know, when we first had phones that had apps and you could do all kinds of things by tapping on the phone, like that was revolutionary. But then when you experience a voice app, it makes tapping on your phone so circa 2010. M&A, there's a lot of activity going on. Um, do you have any dry powder left for M&A? We sure do, and, and we've already made some acquisitions, both in the, the Dell EMC level and at the VMware level. And of course, Dell Technologies Capital, we're now having a bit of a coming, art, coming out party explaining what we're doing with the portfolio and the new investments and you know, lots of new investments in machine learning, deep learning, security, and cloud and all the kind of uh, next generation business models that are important to us. Um, so for us, when we talk about being a data company, we can't do it from just even being a chip. We have to be a solutions partner with cloud service providers, enterprise, IoT edge solutions. We try to be there. Customer things that we talked about, you know, touch briefly on like the IoT stuff. And you know, I mean, some of the things that we're doing, I mean, you know, I, I talk about changing people's lives, but you know, that crazy scenario, we're doing that, right? I mean, we have customers who are building, you know, implantables and you know other devices around our IT technology, building new things. That really, it's like, you know, we're going to make you live longer. We're going to make improve your quality of life, right? And we're going to extend that into the next generation. Funny how many companies say, "Well, we're complying with GDPR because we encrypt the data," and I go, "Well, if you're not legally allowed to have that data, that's not going to help you at all." And unfortunately, I think that's what a lot of companies think that as long as we're looking at the the security side of the house, we're good and they're missing the whole boat on GDPR. So for me, the, the Intel is not a uh, chipset company, okay? The Intel is really the provider of computing power, okay? It's really the things that we're helping to do this, that we are driving new policies, companies are seeing results, agencies, and we are making the world a better place. And I would yeah. say that that's humbling and amazing, and we're just getting going. Obviously, every layer in this uh, overall cake needs more features, more capabilities, and so on. But foundationally, it's about web skill engineering, consumer grade design. And if you're doing these two things, getting more workloads, getting more geographies, getting more platforms, getting more features, all those things are are basically a rite of passage, you know, you need to continue to do them over time, actually. Really great TED talk just went up by Zainab Tufekki where she talks about the most brilliant data scientists, the most brilliant minds of our day are working on ad tech platforms that are now being created to, you know, essentially do what Kenyatta Cheese calls, you know, advertising terrorism, which is that all of this data is being collected so that advertisers have this information about us that could be used to create the future forms of surveillance. There, there's always a vulnerability and it will be exploited. And, and all that metadata that's unscrubbed, I'm not worried about them selling metadata that's scrubbed. I'm worried about the nation state or the sophisticated actor that's already has a remote access Trojan on the network and is exfiltrating in real time. That's the guy that I'm worried about. We have more things to solve, but it's not just on us. We are building this ecosystem around us that can help you do that. You know, IT used to be, you know, it's the factory, it's the back end, but now it's moving to the front of the shop, so I hear a ton of excitement, a ton of optimism. Every, every element, every piece of code, you know, what we saw is that uh, this year developers will write 111 billion lines of code. You think about that. Every that we know about. That we know about, <laughs> there's probably more. <laughs> and all of that, you're right, these are broken up broken up into pieces that are inherently networked, right? They have data. It's all about data and information that they're sharing to give interesting experiences. Become a domain expert in whatever whatever domain you're proposing and what field you're going to enter, and then surround yourself with people, whatever job they're doing, engineering, marketing, sales, F&A, who are better than you at what they do. And to the extent that I've succeeded, this is why I've succeeded. Now this might be more easier for me than for others, okay. but, I, but I try to surround myself with people who are better than me, and to the extent that I've been successful, that's why.